Hi, I'm Tom Bella from Triple J. I'm here with Tram Sessions. We're going to jump on a tram, get a but. Gosh, it's not safe on the road, so just take public transport. We thought because the comedy festival's on, we'd hang out with Tram Sessions, grab a bunch of comedians, a couple of listeners, whack them on a tram, and yell jokes at the general public. Uh, so my career's doing really well, so let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, please go wild and crazy. Welcome, Melinda Buttle! Oh, thanks. Yeah, wow. No, uh, I, am, I am Melinda Buttle. That is me. I have been just given a crazy cat lady microphone. Um, <laughs> but while I'm here, does anyone have a dollar? Uh, no, I, uh, as Tom said, I am from Brisbane and I don't live in Melbourne. Uh, so I didn't know what was cool in Melbourne. I didn't know what to wear. I went with this. Um, thank you. Yep, thanks. Uh, <laughs> I, I do get nervous when I'm coming down to Melbourne to do the comedy festival and to do stuff like this because, um, like in Brisbane, I'm like the sexiest girl up there, <laughs> and I hate leaving my post. Um, I am. I'm like a ten up there, uh, but I drop down in Melbourne. I drop down a bit because the women here are like very beautiful, as you can see. Um, I drop down like a nine point six. <laughs> so awkward. Um, but in Brisbane, I live in a share house. Does anyone, anyone here in a share house? A few people, yeah. Not the rest of you are just like, no, I own a few. <laughs> Um, I do live in a share house, but it's a weird share house because in the share house it's just me and this 61 year old guy and what we share is his money because he's my dad. <laughs> That's how that works. Um, dad will be so proud of me doing this gig on a tram. Well, he'll be thankful I'm holding onto a pole and I've got clothes on. So, uh, but I do live with my dad. Um, but I, I'm loving the food in Melbourne, although I did have a laksa for breakfast on Swanson Street, so I might probably need to get off soon. But um, <laughs> no, I, uh, I love the food in Melbourne. My dad is not a foodie at all. He's not into food. He just eats to stay alive. And I said, Dad, like, what's, what's your favorite food? And Dad's like, mullet? <laughs> That's your real favorite? Yeah, yeah, I love mullet. I love it. Like, what's, what's so good about mullet? Dad's like, I bloody love mullet. <laughs> because what you don't eat for dinner, you can use as bait. <laughs> I'm like, Dad, you're eating bait for dinner. That's what you're doing there. And I said, Dad, that's, that's kind of weird. I'm probably going to mention that on stage. So that's like a weird favorite food. Dad, like, I don't, don't, please don't mention that on stage. I thought he was like embarrassed. It was so shit. And then I asked him, he was like, why don't you want me to tell me? He was like, how many people are going to be there at the gig? I was like, I don't know. I don't know. There's a tram, Dad. There might be <laughs> six. There might be a hundred people. I don't know. Dad's like, well, I'll, let's average it at 40. So if you go and mention the mullet to 40 people, the prices will go through the bloody roof. <laughs> that's, a, that's a truck going past. <laughs> Good hair, cool. Um, hi, new people have got on the tram. Hello, yes. I'm a new breed of homeless person. I'm <laughs> just a real go-getter. This is a possible account. Uh, um, but I, uh, I have a really bad phobia, guys. I'm going to tell you because you're, you're quite nice. I'm really afraid of um, snakes. I'm like quite afraid of snakes. Uh, like when I was little, it was really, really bad, and it crippled my whole childhood. Right? Like I couldn't go on excursions. That's how bad it was. I couldn't go to the art gallery case there was a picture of a Voldemort. Um, I don't know like saying it. Uh, I couldn't go to the museum in case there was a taxidermy snake, right? And I, did, I couldn't watch the TV show Totally Wild, because it's really shitty. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'll show you how bad it is nowadays. I can't, that's for radio, whatever. I, uh, I can't look at that. I can't, I can't let my eyes see that. Like I know that's my arm. I've got, got a rough idea of what it's doing, but uh, I, I, okay, I feel yucky. All right, I'll shake it out, shake it, silly. Um, so that's how bad it is, right? And one day my dad, um, he saw how much this was crippling my, my whole childhood, right? And he got this idea, he saw on an Oprah, this thing called exposure therapy. Um, so what exposure therapy is, you take someone's phobia, and little by little bit, like, you, you gradually expose them to the fear, building it up over X years w and years. Exhibition <laughs> I could probably do that, Chad. <laughs> the exhibition next. <laughs> Don't worry about it, I was just in the middle of a really good four minute story that escalated <laughs> at a certain point that I can't really repeat. But have a look at that view. <laughs> oh, Melbourne, you've turned on the charm, haven't you? Anyway, I'm afraid of snakes. So, <laughs> there's no way to get there back. This is the casino. <laughs> the casino here. Hop on, work my board. Thanks for coming. This is a tram. Come on, in you pop. <laughs> Have a seat. Hi, thanks for coming. It's a free gig. It's, a, it's, a, it's Triple J putting on this gig with tram sessions. We're doing comedy on a tram. So you get to hear it even if you don't want to. So, <laughs> thanks for coming. Plenty of seats. Plenty of seats back there. That is the backstage area. <laughs> I guess we could fit you in. Um, 
All right, I've, uh, I think I've wasted enough of everyone's time with my information. <laughs> Some call it comedy, I call it the Melbourne International Information Festival. Uh, I'm going to hand you back to your MC Tom Bauer, who's going to mop up this. Tom Bauer, ladies and gentlemen, yeah! The best tour guide in the biz.